Demon Razor Blade. Well, hey guys, it's Demon. Welcome back to another episode. Let's play Sly 2 Ben Thieves. In the last episode, we did the Spice in the Sky mission and also that uh, a friend in need mission where we had to chase Carmelita. Or whatever, not chase Carmelita, we had to follow Carmelita. In this episode, we're going to be doing the last mission before the slideshow. Yeah, surprisingly, there's only one more mission before the actual slideshow of, uh, I mean, well, the second slideshow, there's, there's, like, only one more mission, which the mission is, I believe, it's actually pretty close to here. It is right up there, so in order to get up to there, you see the trampoline right there. Yeah, you know what you gotta do? You gotta jump on it. Okay, in the mission. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Okay, cool little glitches, glitches that you can actually see that says Iron Horse 2 and not 1. This is only in, like, the PS2 version. The collection fixed this glitch. The collection just, uh, didn't have this glitch in it. Because it's the collection, they fixed some stuff, and that's one of the things they fixed. I never actually knew that until I saw an LP. Actually, not the LP. It was actually the video. Someone in the comments said it said Iron Horse 2 instead of 1. Which is kind of weird. Also, since there's no guards here, you can break these bottles if you want. What are they? They have a maple leaf on it. I guess the Canadian stereotype. I don't know. How would that be Canadian stereotypes? It's maple leaves. That doesn't make any sense, Jordan. Just because it says maple- Holy God. And whoa, yeah. Okay, so we're on the first Iron Horse train, and, like, actually, because as you know, like, I'm pretty sure there's, if you didn't know already, there's one part per train. I mean, I'm not sure if they showed it, but we have to actually get into the trains because to actually get the parts, because why would we be in the trains if Bentley didn't know we had if the parts were in here? Holy God, a whole bunch of eagles. I never actually showed that, but when you are when you were on, like, that, uh, thing, you can actually see there were a whole bunch of eagles right there. Let's just kill- kill all these guys there we go you could actually uh use those like explosion things to kill them but i just do that i just think it's a lot easier just to do that but whatever so you can also just uh wait is that kind of gonna is that guy gonna come up here no he's not okay so let's just uh snipe this guy right here yeah okay he's done dead and done let's put a bomb on him make him blow up blow up blow up yeah he's blown up okay so now let's just jump up on here again which we have guards okay just kill this guard and like kill this guard right here no, no, crap, 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 there we go, holy god, that was very close to me, like, I, if you probably didn't know already, these guys do eventually wake up, but I'm not sure how long it takes for them to wake up, okay, for this one, the way to get past is actually just, uh, jumping over on this way, and just jumping across like that, and that's really easy, pretty simple, and now, oh my god, this one's a little bit harder, both of them are moving, oh my god, what are we gonna, do? okay, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna get burned, luckily, you have invincibility if you do that, yay, okay, so, you can go either way you want, like, there's no wrong path to take, I usually take this one, and now you can actually see Bentley sneaking up, which we usually never see, okay, and we can just get up here, which you can actually just, uh, jump between the two, and look at that, we're already in where the thing is, and we got Clockwork's Lung, okay. Outstanding! Chalk up one strange robot organ for us, and one less iron horse train for John Bassan. And just like that, we're already done with that mission, and there's going to be a slideshow right here, so enjoy. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Okay, now done that slideshow. I'm not so sure what mission I'm actually going to do first. I, there's, uh, I'm pretty sure there's, well, right now available, there's only one Bentley and one Murray. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm actually, I'm actually going to do the Murray one first. Let's actually just see which missions are available. We have the Murray one, Bear Cub Kidnapping, and the Bentley one, Aerial Assault. Okay, we're just going to be doing Bear Cub Kidnapping because, uh, well, the Bear Cub Kidnapping is actually pretty short. And if you have the Atlas Strength, this mission could be made a lot easier. So that's why I always suggest getting the Atlas Strength, not just for that one mission in chapter 5, but also for this mission right here, because it's very helpful. Okay, so now the mission is way over there. It's actually on top of the tra- Oh! Holy Jesus, Grandma almost got ran over by that train. 
Luckily, we stopped, because if you get ran over by the train, you're going to have to actually uh, restart the... Not restart the mission, but you know what I mean. So, basically, the mission is right there where that guard is. Right where the guard is on top of this train track here. So, what we're going to have to do is uh, be very careful and kill this guard. Okay, let's... No, just punch him off. And, okay, we're in the mission. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But, for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. A metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabbles should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. <laughs> okay. You know, I used to hate this mission, but then I took an arrow in the knee. Haha, <laughs> I had to make that joke, whatever. So, where is that guard? Wait, wait, where is she? What the? Oh, there's Carmelita. There's Carmelita. Okay. Okay, okay, that was close. Uh, where are you going, Carmelita? I don't want you coming after me because I'm taking a bear and... Stupid guard. Okay, I'm taking a bear. I don't want you coming after me. That was weird how they have the flashlight guard still right there. So, let's wait for Carmelar... Okay, I almost called her something that's called in the third game. Whatever, so... Let's wait for her to kill that guard right there. Kill her. Kill kill the guard. Kill the guard. Kill the guard. God. Okay, whatever. I'm just taking this right here. We can just uh, sneak cr across that because they're just going to be busy uh, minding her or whatever. So basically what we have to do is we just have to uh, run all the way back to where that one area is just to throw the cub there. Like I said, it's made a lot easier if you actually have the atlas strength to run all the way there. And also I believe this the bear will attract a guard, so be careful. Okay, so now we got the first bear in there. We have, uh, one more, but you see there's two way beacons. There's only one more bear left, but there's two way beacons. It doesn't mean there's another bear. It just means there's two entrances to get to the, where the next bear is. And the next bear is in this cave. So what we're gonna do is actually wait for this guy to actually, uh, get a little bit farther away from the thing. And I just jumped off the train track because I didn't want him to want the train track to run over me. So wait till he's a little bit farther away from the actual, uh, thing so we don't have to actually have to like uh wait for him that long and let's just uh follow this thing until we get to where the bear cub is which is actually uh right here so let's just uh stomp the bear cub and get out of here as fast as we can just run out of the bear cave yep only in this game you would just run like this and be careful because the bear could fo find you crap 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 be stupid thing stupid guard stupid guard die 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 what okay i didn't know the bear die Stupid bear! You're not supposed to run and- wait, do I have to get- wait, do I still have that one bear left, or- let's see. What do we- what do we have, uh? Okay, I believe we still have just one more bear to get. Yes, we only have one more bear to get. Okay. That's better. Stupid guard. Why do they always have the, like, the worst guard placements in, like, the whole entire eternity of gaming life or whatever? I don't know. Let's see if we can actually get a better run here. Wait for this guy, mofo, to actually get away from here. Come on, mofo. Come on, man. Man, man, man. Get, get far the way, man. Get far the way. Far the way, man. Far the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You far away. You far away enough. Far away enough. Okay. 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 It's going that way. Going that way. Okay. Going that way, bear. Okay. Okay. I, I, I take your cub, man. I take your cub. I run with your cub. Okay. I really don't. I don't give crap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be careful, man. Be careful here because there's a guard here. Don't want to get Don't want to get caught by the guard. Okay. Now let's go down here and actually uh. Just throw that cub in that area thing and actually get the stand mission done with, okay? Okay, got that? Got that? Yeah, full throttle homo. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Okay, mission's done. Okay, I believe we have to actually have one more, like, I think we have one, uh, I think we have time for one more mission, that's what I'm trying to basically say, okay. Now let's just go back to the safe house, which is actually a fishing thing. I don't know, it's the wharf, okay. Now let's get Bentley out and do this one last mission. So we might actually get this episode done in f only four episodes, which is actually the fat. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that would actually be the fastest chapter to ever get through. I told you, this chapter's pretty short. Because we're only getting through it in, like, four parts. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the Sly mission that's coming up... Yeah, there's a Sly mission after you do this. Because this is to get Iron Horse 2 unlocked. It's not really that long, so... Yeah, this is only going to be, like, uh, four parts. So that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool my standards of living. Let's just, uh, get around and... When was the last time I said that? I think the last time I said that was actually in, uh... Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. That standards of living thing. I... Come on. Come on. There, are there guards going both ways? Are you serious? There's guards going both ways. If there is, I'm going to be so freaking mad. And there... Okay, let's just kill this guard here. I really don't care. Kill you. Thank you. Whatever. Now let's just go into this mission, which is a uh, aerial assault or something like that. I don't know. So I'm just going to talk through this because I'm already talking. So why not talk? Okay. So basically, you see it's going pretty fast. So uh, we have to actually catch up with this thing. And the train is going uh, this way. So we just need to uh, run across here. And of course, the Carmelita's there. When isn't she there? Okay. And we just got to uh, run across here and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get away, get away. Is she following me? Oh, she's not. Okay. Okay, that was good. So let's just uh, wait here for the trick train caboose to come. Oh, crap, crap. Cr oh, yeah. Oh, God, that was close. That was close. Holy God. Okay, so now we're actually going to be doing an RC chopper mission. And, uh... This had better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bobs, and the square button shoots forward. Okay, so now we got a new cannon here. We can drop bombs with X and also shoot forward with square, which the square is just to shoot forward. That's the new thing or whatever. So basically, it's this is actually pretty easy. It's not that hard of a mission. We have to actually use the RC chopper forever. Pretty sure the last time we used it was like episode... No, that last time we used it was actually episode 4, I forgot. Okay, you know when it's done after that, like whatever, so... Yeah, I'm not so sure if the, I'm gonna actually get this by now, by, like, the time this video goes up, but, uh, I actually ordered, uh, eight, like, I'm actually, I'm not ordered, but I'm going to order, like, a thing that's, like, eight gigabytes of RAM for my computer, which will make my computer go way faster, and which I really want that because I really want to have, like, faster rendering times because my rendering times are, like, an hour or two hours long, like, if it's a 20-minute video, it's, like, two hours long, which... I really want, I really want to dramatically, uh, lower that render time if I just get an eight gigabyte, uh... RAM, I mean, 8 gigabytes of RAM, because that's the most my computer can actually handle, is, I mean, my, that my laptop can actually handle is 8 gigabytes, not my computer, because I don't have a, I mean, I have a, it's, com it's a computer, but it's a desktop, you know what I mean, whatever, so yeah, so this mission's really not all that hard, well, now that I said that, I'm probably gonna suck, oh wait, this is a shooting one, isn't it, okay, this one, I believe it's like, uh, the ones come over there, and then they come over here, I just say tap the square button, because, uh, tapping the square button is a lot easier than just holding it, because it shoots faster when you tap it, okay, and I believe there's going to be another helicopters coming out here. I don't know. Okay, they are. I really don't like the helicopters. Even though they shoot very slow, they're actually... I don't know. I forgot how... I don't know how many hits they take. I just know they take more than uh, one. Whatever, so... Come on, kill that guy. And, okay, that's it. Like, what time are we on? 1319, okay. We're actually going to be getting this mission done in this episode, which is actually pretty good. Okay. Like, I want... I mean, I plan getting this, ep this mission recorded in this episode. I don't know. I mean, I don't want the video to go on for, like, super long or whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Okay. Watch out. Oh, God. I almost got hit by that other one. But I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let's just kill this. And that's the last one right there. And I'm not so sure if this is the final st stretch. Because Bentley will say if it's the final stretch or not. Because I'm pretty sure this is actually the final stretch here. I don't, actually, I don't think it is. Because I don't remember this being the final one. I, I, I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't know. Oh, God. They're coming back. Okay. I believe it's like one every other one. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we're pr Oh, I thought I was going to go without actually getting hit. Okay, th now this is probably the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. So, let's just check to see if it's the last one. Okay, yeah, this definitely is the last one. I can tell because it's going to be the shooting ones and that. I don't know. It just I'd suggest getting the shooting ones out first like this. Well, they're, they're all shooting, but get the helicopters out first, then kill these after that. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to be getting done with this mission right here. And yeah, that's the end of that mission, so that's about it for this episode. Let's play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. We actually did pretty good progress in this episode. We got three missions done. That's actually pretty good for this late in the game, getting three missions done. We got, uh, I mean, we got one Iron Horse tank part, and we also got one ready for Sly. So in the next episode, let's play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. We are going to be... 
going to the slime mission that unlocks after this, which is right there. Theft of on the rails, and maybe doing the operation. I don't know. I'm probably going to do the operation next episode. So, this has been Demon, Demon Razorblade, saying see you later and goodbye.